The tone of the early chapters of Solomon's Proverbs are that of wisdom of godly rebuke. Proverbs 6 is certainly no different. It contains specific warnings for the readers against folly and adultery. Verses 6 through 11 detail the wisdom in self-control and restraint and storing up provisions for the future. Verse 9 says, How long will you lie there, you sluggard? When will you get up from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come on you like a thief, scarcity like an armed man. At first glance, this seems a rather sharp and harsh rebuke to the casual reader without context, but it was important to Solomon to specifically mention laziness and how failing to be responsible for ourselves opens us up to unnecessary hardship. And he doesn't stop there. Verse 16 reads, There are six things the Lord hates, seven that are detestable to him. Haughty eyes, lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, wicked scheming hearts, feet that rush to evil, lying false witnesses, and a person who stirs up conflict. The tone of the writing has some very specific warnings for believers. He finishes in verses 24 through 39 with warnings about lust of the heart and impurity of the mind in reference to adultery, either emotional or sexual affairs. So why does Solomon mention these two sins specifically in this passage? What is the tone or the takeaway that we need to have from this chapter as Christ followers? Proverbs 6 seems to focus wisdom and advice on two of the problems that have been stumbling blocks for Christians for multiple generations, laziness and impure thoughts. Both of these sins stem from a lack of self-control. These temptations are not new to Christians, and even though it seems as if we do not have much control over them, God's word actually tells us that we can forsake our sinful nature and we can practice self-control. 2 Corinthians 10.5 says, Take captive every thought and make it obedient to Christ. As you read through the passage today and apply God's word to your own life, try to reflect on ways that God empowers us to overcome our inadequacies, and bring our lives in closer connection with our heavenly design.